What do you think is going to happen both this weekend and over the holiday season with rising concerns about Omicron? Well, Julie, if we only do 100 million, we're going to be very, very disappointed. So we're, our, our sights are much higher than that. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. But look, I think, uh, you know, it's an, it's an unknown what's going to happen with the, uh, the, the Omicron variant. Um, but look, we've sold so many tickets in the pre-sale. We're guaranteed it's going to do really, really well, both here and around the world. In fact, it opened in Korea Two, uh, two days ago, our two days ago, uh, their two days ago, and did very well. It was the biggest opening of the pandemic. Okay, I've seen estimates in the 150 million plus range, but I guess one thing that's so interesting is, you know, this is an exclusive theatrical release. You're going to have an exclusive theatrical window. That's the mm -hmm. decision you're making for the for your films. But as you look into next year, what's your outlook for the future of theatrical movie going? Do you think that you're going to be doing some simultaneous releases or shorter windows? What does movie going and theatrical releases have to look like in this new hybrid future that we're in? Well, obviously, we're going to have to remain very agile about how we release films. But our, our focus is entirely on theatrical for our big IP, such as Spider-Man, such as Jumanji, such as you know, many of the big films we have coming out, the General for Jordan, we're opening on Christmas Day with uh, Denzel Washington, um, his directorial uh, project, um, and also Michael B. Jordan's in that film. And then through next year, Morbius Uncharted, uh, all the big films we have, Where the Crawdads Sing, we're anticipating these will be only theatrical releases. We do have a deal, by the way, with Netflix, as we did in our, our front deal, or our uh, pay one deal, where we uh, are producing films directly for Netflix. So you will see some of that. But look, our, our big IP is going to be theatrical. Uh, Tony, what is the digital play here for the Spider-Man uh, franchise? I mean, I know Disney's got Disney Plus, but you've got PlayStation. Uh, I'm thinking about PS5 and the popular game there. I know my 13-year-old is very much into that. Do you see a lift? around the, the movie engagement, the overall brand engagement, and what else is there that's specifically Sony that gets a lift in the, in the platform play? Well, you may, you may have heard that we're very, very engaged with PlayStation with their IP. We have 10 projects in the works right now with PlayStation using their IP to produce film and television. The first will be Uncharted. It's a very, very good film, and I, I know you're all going to enjoy it with with uh, Tom Holland, who also is in Spider-Man, obviously, and also Mark Wahlberg. And that'll be released in, uh, in uh, February. We're really looking forward to that. And we have nine projects, both uh, combined with television and film, coming within the next couple of years. Um, we also have a couple of projects we're working with, with uh, PlayStation and with other parts of Sony to develop ways to distribute product that, that we're not, ready quite to talk, not quite ready to talk about yet. But you'll see some things happening over the next year. In that, in that rain. Hey, Tony, uh, Ann Sarnoff of Warner was asked about uh, theatrical release strategy yesterday. I think she said, have we thought about going back to day and date? Sure, we've thought about it, uh, but we've made our commitments to the theaters, to the agents, <clears throat> and to the talent. Is that a, a widely held view in Hollywood right now? Uh, it, it, no, I think uh, with us it is a widely it is a firmly held view with us. But I think every every studio has uh, been experimenting as to how to go about uh, releasing their films. One of the things that people have not talked about, I think Julie, we, you and I talked about this very shortly uh, a while ago, is that piracy when you put these pure films out on digital. Uh, platforms, piracy becomes rampant. So it's, it's, it's something you have to really be careful of, and that's something we're very concerned about. Uh, but look, we are, again, completely committed to theatrical for our big IP. We're going to continue that way. We have 15 films scheduled for release between now and the same day next year. Uh, and we're we're all in on that on that strategy. Now, will there be flexibility in how we move things around? It used to be when you when you scheduled a film, it was rock solid on that date. Not that way anymore. Things move, and the the uh, the uh, COVID nineteen impact will continue, and we'll will we will be moving things around. We'll find ways to find the best place to release these films in theaters. We may hold some things. We may move them forward can't tell you how it's going to happen, but yeah. we're going to be very nimble, very agile. 